Yet another damaging report about the conditions at Rikers Island. This time there are graphic details about unsanitary conditions, fire safety, and the ventilation systems. CBS2 political reporter Marsha Kramer joins us now with more. Marsha. Well, Alice and Maurice, the report comes as Mayor Adams and Correction Commissioner Louis Molina are fighting desperately to convince a federal judge not to appoint an outside receiver to run the jails. And this report doesn't help their case. As a whole, at these facilities, which not only um, are rife with abuse and violence, but also are just crumbling around people, um, and which reflect a lack of priorities to fix what can be fixed, that the um, appointment of a federal monitor can only improve those conditions. Legal aid attorney Veronica Vila talking about the latest report from a federal monitor documenting dangerous health and safety conditions at the various jails that make up the Rikers Island Correction Complex. The 150 pictures in the report paint a stomach turning picture of dirty toilets, wash basins, sinks and other personal hygiene facilities. Vila was part of the inspection team. We saw showers that are covered in mildew, inches of soap scum, little drain flies coming out of the drains and these are areas where people are going to, to try to get clean. And that's not all. Inspectors found a cornucopia of live roaches, ants, water bugs, fruit flies, gnats and mouse droppings. When we did our most recent sanitation inspection, we were told that we were not allowed to turn on any faucets, to flush any toilets, um, to make note of any leaks. Um, or running water in the showers. The report also documents problems with fire safety. Fire watch posts in the West facility were not staffed for nine consecutive days in June. Other fire watch posts were not staffed for several hours over multiple shifts. A broken fire sprinkler system in the North Infirmary exacerbated the spread of a fire on April 6th in which 20 people were injured. I know one person was injured very badly. I don't know what the extent of the injuries of the other people were. With records set to close in 2027, there is still a plea to make it safe until then. I would tell the mayor that these are New Yorkers living in these conditions and that um, as long as we're going to continue to jail the number of people that we continue to jail, we're, we need to make sure that they are safe. Well, a spokesman for the Corrections Department insists health and safety is, quote, a top priority. The spokesman says a fire consultant is working with the department to enhance safety measures. Allison Maurice. Okay, Marcia, thank you.